put together record projections for all 32 NFL teams. A breakdown of which team will win each division. Winner of the wild card round and divisional round. In the championship round, the Colts beat the Broncos. And the Seahawks beat the Packers, with the Seahawks beating the Colts in Super Bowl 49. Colts versus Seahawks. We should note that uh, Davis correctly predicted the Seahawks would beat the Broncos last season. So we asked this question, do you agree with his pick? NFL analyst, sometimes expert, oftentimes good friend Mark Brunell joining us. <laughs> As a lot not, of, not I, always good friends. Uh, yes, not just always friends. Friends. I don't, I don't see not always. always expert. Not always uh, expert. Always good friend. Okay, okay, then we'll reverse it. Uh, Perfect. Agree with the pick? I don't agree with the pick. Mm -hmm. um, I like the fact that uh, he picked Seattle, but it's hard to be the hunted. It's hard to be the hunted. It's hard to go into a season with a big target right on your mm -hmm. chest. Yep. The Seattle Seahawks have a formula, and it works. And if it's not broke, you don't fix it. They run the football very well with Marshawn Lynch. They play solid defense, incredible defense. They've got a good young quarterback, without a doubt. That young quarterback's going to be asked to do a lot more this year because if I'm a defense, and defensive coordinators right now are spending all the time, how are we going to beat the Seattle Seahawks? When well, you beat them, obviously you've got to score some points, which is tough, but you stop the run. You load the box, and you make Russell Wilson throw. If he can develop as a passer, they're going to ask more of them. If he can develop as a passer, continue to make good decisions. Now, his numbers were great last year, but be more efficient on third down, stay in that pocket, then they've got a chance to get to the Super Bowl. The Colts, Andrew Luck, rising star. I think we'll look back on Andrew Luck's career and we'll see two or three Super Bowls. I really believe wow. that. This guy, Stop wow. I'm not wow. finished. No, no, no. I'm wow. Yeah. Keep that last line. Wow. Oh, boy. Right at him I will look right at his kid. Say it again. How many? Andrew Luck uh -huh. will look back on his career, uh -huh. and he'll have at least two or three Super Bowl rings. I really believe that. I believe he's a, he's the complete package. I mean, he's got some mobility, but he stands in the pocket. He's intelligent. He's got everything you want. But as far as the Colts are concerned, as long as Peyton Manning is wearing a Broncos jersey, sure. and as long as Tom Brady, and you, you all talked about, Andrew's not going to see it right away. And you know, all this talk about Tom Brady not being elite, you gotta be crazy. Crazy. That's, that, that's, just, that's just crazy. Crazy. Thank you. The best crazy in business. Talk. Thank you. But uh, Andrew Luck's time is coming. When he's yeah. like 35 or 36. Oh, well, gosh. well, I, I would say into his, I would say into his 30s, right. he'll have his time. But in the next couple of years, I wouldn't be surprised if the Patriots and the Broncos were in it simply because of their quarterbacks, who are, who are okay. phenomenal. So, no, you don't agree with that? I don't agree with that. Okay. That's my answer. So, Stephen A. I agree with your assessment about Seattle. Uh, Russell Wilson is going to be asked to do more because if I'm a if I'm a team going up against the Seattle Seahawks, I'm like their defense is elite. Yeah. Our offense is going to be able to do but so much. What do we need to do to neutralize this man right here? Which is why I was so surprised that Denver didn't show up. I'm not. I was a little surprised that Seattle's defense did what it did because I expected Peyton Manning and those guys to get a couple of touchdowns. You know, to, to score oh, about 17 to 20. I'm saying this. Yeah, score, I know. To score I, about I, 17 to 20. I knew they weren't going to yeah. they go score 30 or 40, but I expected them to score 17 to 20 points, okay? But I really, really did not expect Seattle's offense to be effective, and that's mm -hmm. what disappointed me about Denver's defense. And to me, that has a lot to do with John Fox because I'm a big proponent of What's your signature? What makes you who you are? Why are you sitting in the head coaching position? Because of what you've done as, as a coordinator in most in most situations. So if defense is your signature and your defense doesn't show up, I hold that against you. I don't sure. care that you have a coordinator. You got, you got a head coaching job because you were de a defensive mind. So I hold that against John Fox. But I look, I, I'm of the mindset. I think about San Francisco, man. I'm a San Francisco mm -hmm. guy. I really, really believe that San Francisco could make some noise. He's got him here as 11 and 5. I've got that flipped. I've got Seattle being 11 and 5 and and the 49ers being 12 and really? 4 this upcoming season. Wow. I think that I think that the 49ers are going to get it to another level personally. Um, going to the AFC. Let me say this. First of all, Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady. Tom Brady's elite, but Aaron Rodgers is better in my estimation. That's number one. How many times do I have Mark, to sit here and hear Mark this in one so show? Respectful. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, 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 I don't know what he's talking about with the Jets winning 10 games. I don't get that part. But to answer your assertions about Andrew Luck, not only do I agree, I'm going to be more, more, more bold in my prognostication. I don't think, I, I, maybe another year. And then after that, 
after next season, I think in two years, Andrew Luck will have defined himself as the <laughs> best quarterback in the AFC. That's what I believe. Wow. I believe that is he's, a, I believe that, is he's bold. that good. 25 I believe months, he will, I believe that, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm not taking anything away from Peyton Manning or Tom Brady. Just talking about Father Tom. That's all. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that even if they dip slightly, they're still elite. But I think that Andrew Luck is going to be that big time. You just got to do something with the coach defense. You yes. got to give him something to, something to work with. But Andrew Luck as a talent, I think we will be talking about him and his elevation, and I think he's going to be the man in the AFC. That's what I want to say about that. Okay, my position on Andrew Luck has simply been He's the most prematurely overhyped superstar quarterback I can ever remember because he got such hype coming out of the draft. People were expecting what you're talking about, his rookie year. And he had the second most total turnovers in the National Football League to Mark Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Then the, all I heard last year, oh, this will be Andrew Luck's coming out party. This will be his year. And in two playoff games, he threw not four or five. He threw seven interceptions mm -hmm. in two playoff Mid games. Shell. Three and four. Mid Mid bag of shell. Mid That's all. Shell. Just dismiss him, I sweep him under I the didn't carpet, and, say and that go to the next year. He was going to be okay. this. I said he was going to be better than RG3. Okay, uh -oh. so, so now you're saying maybe a couple more years. So that means four years. We'll have to wait four years before Andrew Luck lives up to the hype. No, no, no. Well, right? well, again, it's the sport of football. It's the ultimate team game. Yes. There are various components okay. that have to come into the equation, which you understand significantly better than me. All I'm saying to you is that when I look at and Andrew Luck. I look at his ability to fling the football, his strength, his ability to stand in the pocket under duress and make throws, his athleticism, his ability to evade, run out of the pocket, and move the chains with his feet, not just his arms. His intellect, his IQ is just there. And more importantly, his composure. I'm not knocking RG3 because I'm a fan of RG3s, and I think that RG3 is going to resurrect himself. But I think that, especially last season, RG3 proved that the comparisons to Andrew Luck were unwarranted. You know why? Because RG3 doesn't want just football. He wants brand RG3 to elevate with his game. Andrew Luck just doesn't care. A little quick side story. I'm in Indianapolis. It better be quick. Because I, mean, <laughs> I haven't said a word go. the last five minutes. I apologize. I apologize because yeah. I know I'm going. <laughs> I'm in Indianapolis months ago. And I just walked down, you know, you know, I, I mean, the little bit of hair I got left, I, I went to get a haircut. And, you know, everybody was in there all excited. What happened? Andrew Luck just rolled up in there. They talk about he's just walking downtown, minding, minding his business. He doesn't care about all that stuff these other guys appear to care about. You hear about Colin Kaepernick for the wrong reasons, even though he appears to be innocent of that stuff. You hear about RG3 in some degrees for the wrong reasons. You heard about Russell Wilson for the right reasons, but he's receiving hype, and some people say he's feeding off the Seattle's defense. Andrew Luck's just Andrew Luck, baby. And he right. just performs. All right. So, like so uh, answer me this. Riddle me this. <laughs> uh, when those two were healthy as rookies in the National Football League, who had the better season, rookie season? RG3. Thank you. I also think he End had a better discussion. Team. Better team? I think so. They were terrible the I year so. before. I, th I think he so. He turned them around. They won the division. I know that. I know okay? that. And they should have like won. They were about to beat the Seattle Emotional Seahawks. Emotional high. Chuck Pagano being ill, coming back from that. Bruce Arians doing a yeah. fabulous job, etc. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what RG3 did with the weapons that Washington had and being in the NFC East didn't hurt, all of those things come into the equation. If I'm a if I'm a coach, I'll take both of them. Right. Okay. I'll take so RG3 agents right. so right. without a doubt. Expert. Right futures okay. for both Smart. of those. Now, so do I. Being objective about Nate Davis's prediction, and I congratulate him on nailing the Super Bowl last, last year. That's impressive. And this was a lot of fun to read today. But he's got Indy going 13-3, and three, which would give them a bye and two home playoff games. And he has them beating the Ravens and then Peyton's team at home to get to the Super Bowl. I don't think they can go 13-3. and three. I'll give you 10-6 and six because I thought with, with Reggie Wayne's return, I assume he's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And remember, they had kind of a quiet little big signing of Akeem Nix. I thought that was pretty important. So Andrew with T.Y. Hilton, now his receiving core should be pretty big time, right? Yeah, okay? absolutely. So I'm going to give you 10 and 6. It's, it's not the he, he called, Nate Davis called an easy schedule. I don't think it's that easy. None of these schedules are that easy. But in this case, I'll go 10 and 6. Now back to Seattle quickly. You make a point about all of a sudden Russell Wilson's going to have to take it up one more level. He will. It was interesting after their OTA session yesterday, he said the most impressive unit on the field was his receiving core, which has lost Golden Tate, obviously. But 
he's saying that Percy Harvin, healthy, right. makes them the fastest group of receivers in football. Well, I was interested because I'm thinking, wow, well, I don't know, will Percy Harvin stay healthy all year? Maybe that'll be the secret weapon they haven't had. So it's hard for me to pick against them on that side, but sure. I, I'm still going Patriots over uh, Colts. I still got the Patriots winning the AFC, and it's hard for me to bet against them. And by the way, I got to point out, oh, Nate yeah. Davis has in the NFC West, He's got, and Stephen A. has this reverse, but he's got Seattle going 12 and 4, right? San Francisco going 11 and 5. Then he's got Arizona going 10, 10 and 6, six. Yep. and St. Louis going 10 and 6. Wow. That would be double digit wins for all four teams in the division. I, I don't think that's ever happened in the NFL. I if, don't think it will happen. It was pretty tough, man. Predictions. Uh, Nate also predicts that the Cowboys will do something they haven't done in 25 years. That is the discussion after the break uh -oh. here. I'm going to give you that so you have a little edge <laughs> on the you. fellas. A little head start. A little head start on that, yeah. We'll be back in just a few moments.